Hey, welcome back. This is part two of a three-part series. Um, first part, I showed how to diagnose the um, gas valve. Second part, I'm showing how to replace it. And the third part, I'm going to be um, just pretty much testing the static pressure. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right. So I'm back here to change that gas sensor. Let me take a look and see what the status is on it now. Water menu, EBB position, full temperature 50, gas 126. So still way off. What gonna go ahead and do? Door here. And this feels me to having it way too restrictive for this air handler. I hear it screaming. Get some. Get wrap this here around it. I'll make sure there's nothing on the surface. All I'm gonna do is clean that surface off. Some copper. I mean some of this. The old one it just seemed a little bit this way too high. It goes down through here. Get a little bit better there. Use some of this insulated tape. She wraps around that. Take our electrical tape. That should give it a nice true reading there. Let's 
just so much for I can potentially go wrong with these things but Another thing I like about this monitor menu, you can see, well as you can see now the um, electronic expansion valve is stepped down, it's about 50% open now, 276 steps, um, cool temperature, it's 37 degrees right now, just been running for about 5 minutes so far, gas temperature 59. So now you can see before that was reading like 126. Yeah. That's pretty much it. How to replace a sensor for train 109. Hyperion air handler. Well, other than that, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. All right, bye now.